Brentech here, where tech is made simple. I posted a video at the beginning of last month in March about the new redesigned web version of the Microsoft Store, which had become available online, which is very similar to the actual native Microsoft Store app that you will find on your Windows 10 and 11 device. And it's also where you can download apps directly using your web browser uh, instead of the actual native Microsoft Store app. Now, at the time of posting that previous video, which I will leave a link to down below if you are interested, this new web front for the App Store now included listings for Win32 applications. And as an example, Microsoft Edge is a Win32 application, which the previous version did not. Now, this is just a quick update video as the Windows apps online has come out of preview and is now a stable version. So Microsoft has uh, made the stable version of the Windows App Store available online where previously uh, it was in preview. Now, it's very similar to the preview version. I have done a bit of uh, browsing and checking, you know, different aspects of the online version out before posting this video. And everything looks very similar to the preview version in the stable version. But where the online uh, version of the Microsoft Store is very handy is, say, as an example, uh, you are using a device where you don't have the Microsoft Store app installed on. Um, as an example, your mobile device, and you would like to uh, check out some information regarding a certain app where you can just come using your web browser online and come to the online app store and you can just check out extra information regarding that app. Um, you can read the reviews and see the ratings and so on. So that's where it's very handy without needing to have the actual store app installed on your device to do that. Now, some of the things the online version can and can't do, first of all, you see here, you have access to the actual Microsoft Store app, the native app. Um, if you click on this link, if you have that installed on your device, and then you won't see any games listed uh, in the online version, like you will in the native store app on your device. And if we just head back to Microsoft Edge as another example, um, yeah, you get the app name, you get your visuals where you see images uh, for the app and then you get your description and your reviews. Now that looks very similar to what you will find um, uh, in the native store app on your device. But if we head to the actual Microsoft store app, the native app, um, as mentioned, the app name all is very similar, the visuals, but you get the description. But what you won't find in the online version are your system requirements and your additional information. Both these aspects are missing in the online version as well. Now, if we just head back to the App Store online, also if you, as another example, say I want to download WhatsApp just as an example. If I click on this link, what happens now is a new pop-up uh, will make the installation process very easy without having to actually open the native store app. You get this little pop-up and you can just click on install without having to be directed to the actual native store app installed on your device. So that's quite handy. So that's more or less what I can see is um, new and different. Uh, and, and some of the aspects are still very similar that were in, when it was still in preview. But this is the new stable version, which Microsoft has made available. And when there are more improvements made, um, and if Microsoft does make more improvements, I will let you know and I will post those videos accordingly. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.